Gluology Experience. I'm Doug. And I'm Billy. And guys, today we're going to be talking about gluten-free beers. Now, just to give you, I guess, a little bit of uh, you know, insight about like, what gluten is, it's basically a protein, and most beers are are brewed with some kind of wheat or grain or, or you know, barley, yeah. right? So it has gluten in it. And, um, you know, in, in recent years, there's been a lot of people with, like, intolerances to gluten. You know, they just, they just can't, you know, they just can't ingest Their gluten. body just can't right, handle it. just can't yeah. handle it. So I guess, in a, I want to say it's fairly recent, you know, because that I've seen anyway, that there are some breweries that are, um, that are making gluten-free beers. Yeah. So now, you know, I guess some of these people who have these intolerances can now enjoy beer again. Yeah, and that would that would be a huge thing for me, yeah. man. If I if I couldn't have beer anymore, right. I mean that would be awful. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. You know, so a lot of people avoid gluten because what happens is, over time, what gluten does it, it it's it like inflames like your intestines. Oh. Okay. But that that happens to a lot of people. Like the majority of the people today. Yeah. It, it happens to. But it's such a small scale. That we don't notice right away, but over time, what happens is it actually thins your intestines. And oh. what happens is you get like what's called leaky gut. So people who are, are eating a lot of gluten throughout their life, right. the intestinal wall gets thinner and thinner, and then whatever you eat kind of leaks through. And then that's when like that's you know good. infections happen, yeah. and you know yeah, bad stuff happens okay. later on. You know, so that's why right now everything is like gluten-free, don't eat gluten, don't eat gluten, yeah. but that's, that's, and grains and things like yeah. that, but that's, yeah. they're telling that to everybody. That's interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Because I, I thought it was kind of like a fad. No. No. They're saying, like, that's why, because the grains of today are different from the grains True. like our grandparents used to, right. used to eat. They've changed over time. They've changed. Yeah. You know, and our bodies were not designed really to eat grains, if that makes sense. Yeah. You know, like, we were, we were designed to eat fruits, vegetables, and, and meat, you know, it wasn't really grains. Yeah. You know, grains didn't come, you know, into, I wouldn't say exist, ex they've been around for a long time, but I guess humans haven't really been cultivated consuming it. Yeah, them until yeah. we started cultivating it. Well, yeah. I was designed to eat meat. Yeah, me too. And grains. <laughs> I was designed to drink grains. Liquid grains. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, so there's some gluten-free uh, that are brewed with different grains like sorghum and rice, uh, and then there are gluten-reduced beers. Uh, which are brewed with barley as usual, but then they they use a process, a brewing process that drops the proteins out, uh, the gluten proteins out uh, to the bottom, and so it's reduced. You know, right. there might still be so some, some gluten, gluten in there. In there. So yeah. someone who has, you know, I guess um, uh, like a really bad allergy to yeah. to gluten probably shouldn't. I would say, if, say probably if you're way. like celiac or something, yeah. you wouldn't want the gluten reduced, but the gluten free. Could be, could yeah. be okay. So okay. no, neither one of us have ever tried gluten-free no. beer. No, so this will be the first time. This will be an experience. So yeah. Uh, so we have we have three, three here from um, two different breweries, right? Yep, we've got two from Omission, okay. which is out of Portland, Oregon, and they only brew, as far as I understand, they only brew gluten-reduced beers. All of their beers have uh, are. Uh, essentially gluten-free. I mean, most of the gluten's been taken out. They do have a, a disclaimer on the bottle that says, they can't verify that it's all gone, yeah. um, but all their beer is, is this gluten-reduced kind of beer. Right. And then the other one is from New Planet Brewing in, in uh, Colorado, and, um, and they brewed their beer with sorghum and brown rice. Hmm. So no gluten, gluten-free. Okay. Yeah. I'm really interested to see you know, how these taste. All right. Okay, this is a, this is a Belgian ale. Yeah, I've been working on my pour. Nice. <laughs> All right, so no barley in this. This is going to be an experience. So sorghum and brown rice. Brewed with Belgian yeast. Okay, so new planet. A little bit of hops. So just looking at the color, I, yeah. you know, there's no difference, I, I would say, except yeah. for the, the carbonation looks a little bit like soda. Right, a little um, bit more carbonation than usual. Now I can already smell it. Them back here. Yeah. Hmm. It's got like a cidery it, smell to it. Yeah, it does. Hmm. All right. I'm interested. Yeah. It tastes like cider to me. It does taste like cider. It's sweet. It does have that. It has a lot of carbonation. Yeah. It does have a lot of carbonation. I think that's part of why I'm getting cider. Yeah. You know. 
All right. Hey, man, if I couldn't drink beer. Yeah. But I could drink cider, right? You could drink cider. So then why wouldn't I drink cider? <laughs> it depends on your palate. <laughs> this doesn't taste Belgian to me. No, I've tasted something like this before, but... It's not as sweet as cider. It's not. But, uh... But it doesn't taste... It doesn't taste like a beer either. No. It definitely doesn't taste like a beer. I wouldn't know what this was if you gave it to me. Yeah. But taste this. <laughs> Just don't ask any questions. Just taste it. What do you think this is? I don't know, man. All right. Cool. Well, let's move on. Let's move on. <laughs> All right, so guys, we're going to go ahead and move on. And uh, so we have the IPA, and then we have the Ultimate Light. Let's start with the light. Yeah, we'll the move light. on. So this one's from Omission, mm -hmm. and this one is uh, gluten reduced. So this was actually brewed with barley but then they drop the proteins out. So this okay. should taste more like a beer. All right, let's see. Than the, than the sorghum one. So let's hope. All right, so we're light in color. And this is an, this is an ultra light. So 99 yeah. calories, five carbs. All right, it smells like a beer. Yeah, this smells it like a beer. It definitely smells like a beer. We're getting some hops, mm. it's, it's uh, it's like a blonde, blonde ale kind of, you know, kind of okay. uh, Columbus hops. This is much more drinkable. It is. Yeah. Yeah. I wish it had more carbonation. Oops. Wish I had more carbonation. Yeah. But. No, this is this is definitely a beer. This one was brewed with the barley yeah, and the so rice. So more traditional brewing technique, <clears throat> you know, brewing ingredients. Right. But anyway. But uh, but they drop they drop the uh, the proteins the proteins out. in it. Yeah. Okay. So it tastes more um, watery, I think, than I'm used well, to. I mean, it's, a, it's an ultra light. Well, that's you know, true. That's, that's true too. Yeah. You know, that's that's definitely why. You know, but hey, I'll tell you what. For a gluten free beer or, or gluten reduced beer. Yeah, really this good. is good. It's tasty. Yeah, this is a good one. Yeah. All right, let's try the IPA. All right, let's do it. Yeah, this is another <laughs> one from Omission, and. Uh, Again, brewed with traditional ingredients. Here, I'll get you first. Good color. Yeah. Not bad. I'm looking for some. Oh, that's golden. Mm -hmm. That is a yep. nice color. Yep. Okay, now I'm getting some. This smells like a good piney, mm. res yep. resinous, uh, yeah. West Coast California style, or actually it's Portland, Portland yep. style uh, IPA. Here we go. This, is, this should be good. good yeah I like it this is really good all right so if I if I don't want to have uh, leaky gut <laughs> I could switch to this one switch and I'd this. be happy with this yeah you'll be good to go yeah omission brewery mm. all right they did good cool yeah this Gluten is free. cheers cheers Actually not a bad beer. No, it's a good one. If you've got that problem. Yeah. <laughs> if every time you drink beer you shit your brains out. <laughs> <laughs>